Hey guys, welcome to Commands with Dragon. Today we are going to be creating a useful but very very simple command. We are going to be creating vacuum hoppers in Minecraft. Now the way I'm going to plan to create a vacuum hopper is just like so. So we're going to have obsidian surrounding a hopper. Now you should be able to have larger areas which can do, well, obviously more. Alright, so let's have one of this size and basically it will increase the range in which it can suck things so let's go th um, this much okay so one two three one two three and then that should be the biggest for now all right so basically you will go in and plop an armor stand inside oh actually we will make that the second biggest and we'll make a five by five the biggest because we want a defined center point Right, so we're just going to place, hmm, yeah, armor stand in there. I think that should be good enough. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And then finally our large size. So one, two, three, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now this seems a little bit expensive to me, so I'm just going to line this like so. Um, looks, looks a lot nicer as well, although yeah, come to think of it, this structure is quite boring, doesn't really ring out the words vacuum hopper to me, so we might actually make some adjustments to the structure. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now, all we're going to really do now is add tags to these armor stands, so they will disappear, turn invisible, um, the hoppers should behave just as normal, they're going to be markers, except that anything that lands within, we'll say, two blocks of the obsidian here, so it can go a bit out. If it wants, we'll go inside the hopper, and we'll just say that for for now, because I think that's pretty cool, and this can be used for many, many things, like automatic tree farms, all kinds of things, which can be useful, because a lot of people I've noticed in survival worlds have this problem, where they create a farm, and they have to create a very, very large rail system that kind of always goes like this, they have to have a ton of powered rails. Now this will go underneath like a bunch of half slabs. Not sure if you guys have seen this before. Um, can't um, recall an exact situation where this is used, but they'd have like items on here and a, a hopper minecart will have to come through, collect everything, and the minecart system created is is very, very complicated. So that's why I'm creating this machine, is because it simplifies things a lot and can be useful. So, yeah, that's my explanation. Okay, so we're going to be using a hopper clock for this module because it doesn't need to be in a repeat clock by any means. Let's go and entity data command, entity data at e type equals understand. So I've just done a very, very long detect command for this and we are going to go tags um, hopper, hopper one, we'll call it, and Let's do the old, should we make it a marker? No, I don't think so, invulnerable one. Invisible one, definitely needs to have particles. We'll give it some equipment as well. I should probably do this off camera. Actually, you know what, it might look better without. So let's also go no gravity uh, for this. And yeah, that should be good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now just so this command doesn't run multiple times, we'll just go tag equals not hopper one, so it doesn't do that check too many times. And let's just for safekeeping do that here as well. Tag equals not hopper one. Oh, let's go tag equals not hopper actually, because I want to add another tag here, um, which will save a bit of things. So these are going to be the next two sizes. Now we're going to have a chain command here, uh, which will be always active and we're going to go execute at e tag equals hopper right so if there is air in it so you just break the hopper to destroy it it's just going to yeah destroy the actual vacuum hopper so yep so if it kills it then um, we'll just kill the nearest armor stand with a tag of hopper so I'm hoping that this is going to work whoops um, again it's been a while since I played Minecraft so Apologies for any rustiness. Alright, so let's see if that works. Alright, so I forgot to give that the hopper tag. Alright, kill at a tag equals hopper one. Alright, so let's see what happens. And yes, it works, and when I break the hopper, it's gone! 
Awesome, so everything worked as planned. Now we're going to go execute at a tag equals hopper. And we're just going to have a particle command here because I think that will look good. What particle should we use? Let's use tab completion. Let's use end rod particle because I think that that is a nice looking particle. All right, so let's go one, zero, one. Let's, let's have the particle up just a bit. Um, and the speed will go 0 0.5. We'll force it as well because it shouldn't be too taxing on the system. Anyway, let's place something here and drop that in. Okay, so that is not what I expected. We need to reduce the speed quite significantly. There we go. That's kind of, that kind of resembles a vacuum hopper, but I'm not quite convinced. So we're just going to add a portal command on here. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that kind of... Okay, so there's too, too many end rod particles, I think, and not enough of these particles. So let's, let's do that. And yeah, that's a bit more subtle. Kind of reminds me of a vacuum hopper. Right, so... Okay, so... Now we need to do the actual teleportation. So we'll go execute at e tag equals hopper one. TP at e type equals item. Now we're going to do one item at a time. C equals one within a radius of, oh, we have to physically count the blocks. One, two, three, okay, three. Three's good. Three is nice. R equals three um, to at e C equals zero, let's say. And that should work. And it doesn't work. Of course, I've obviously done something wrong. All right, so it failed to execute, of course. Tag equals hopper one. Say a e tag equals hopper one. All right, so that works. What if we go C equals one? Magic, right. So yeah, I'm a bit of a fool for doing that. There we go. So if we place multiple items on the ground, Let's do that right away. It does them one at a time, which is exactly what I wanted. Yay! So the vacuum hopper works um, up to about here. And now all I have to do is repeat the process for the next two sizes. Okay, so here's the deal right now. There's three sizes of vacuum hoppers. To activate a vacuum hopper, all you have to do is chuck an armor stand in there. Now you will lose the armor stand upon activation, but that's just a small cost and to remove it all you have to do is break the hopper below and I'm going to make it so you get the armor stand back as well so yep that works fine and it always works within two blocks of the outer rim so if I chucked an item here you can see that it doesn't get teleported back but if I chuck an item here it does get teleported back now I'm pretty sure I showed you this before but I'm going to show it again all right, so executor E tag equals hopper one, and it's just going to teleport the nearest item if it's within a radius of three blocks to itself. And it's just that simple. So I've done that for this one. So this one also works within a radius of four. So it's like three, four, and five. So here we are. This is going to work within a radius of five. Uh, this is for the big hopper might be more efficient to use these ones but it all depends on what kind of contraption you're building okay so where this kill command before was i'm just going to add in a summon command for the armor stand so i'll break that and yes it summons in an armor stand only one awesome just one so that's cool now the only risk that it runs is that if i just did something like this then it will just break the armor stand if it's within a structure like this but I doubt that you will come across that by accident. So there we go, there are our vacuum hoppers and they are, believe it or not, very, very useful. Um, I've seen people way too many times use these kind of contraptions and yeah, we just completed a Commands with Dragon in just one episode. So this is going to stand alone. Um, you will see the one command of this in the future. Very, very compact not very taxing on, on your computer so if you're running on a laptop you'll be able to install this module um, and it will be able to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to um, those kinds of things but for now this isn't my skin still but thanks everyone for watching i will see you in the next one take care